Uh, I'm ready. Yep. Good luck. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta turn off the music, guys. Okay, I, I I think, uh, so here's what I see. We're going to kill the Tree Sentinel plus zero. And we can, okay, we actually have a line here, you guys. Or just cut off a bit. Is this better? Pretty low resolution. Yeah, there's... Unfortunately, uh... Like, they need to have it at that size. Oops. That's insane, dude. It's actually insane that that caught me somehow. All right, well, I got to try this again. Hopefully... Hopefully she skips this, I guess. Honestly, I have no idea how that hit me, dude. That's that's like a pretty 
simple straight, but I, I like the reason why that was kind of a fiasco is because I messed up the uh I messed up like one of the previous dodges there. I wasted so much time. It's okay. Okay, hopefully I'm not missing anything on this board, but I think next I would love to get to Red Wolf. Yeah, that's definitely not a great start, dude. Some, like, super scuffed death. But we're still doing okay. Because I, I, I think I have a decent plan at this point. Um, yeah, I, I think we... we like, I, I wasted a lot of time here, but we're going to basically head to... Like, there's no reason to kill Godric right now, is there? I could get myself set up, I suppose. Yeah, I could I could go for horse kill like very quickly, but it just it doesn't really lead us anywhere though. Have they served you? I can play turning to aid you. You need her to the foot. Then it's summon me. Ah, I bequeath. He it will summon torrent. Treat him. So like I could go to do it, but I don't I think it's a good idea. Well. The issue right now is I think that Parky might be going for the, the bottom row and going for that heal kill. So if that's the case, maybe I should block it with a horse kill really quickly. Uh, I'm red, by the way. Yeah, you guys. Sorry. I, I kind of forgot to put a thing there. I, I, I think... Uh I'm going to go to Red Wolf first. Horse Knight's Cavalry Cheese count? It does count, yeah. I'm going to hit Red Wolf. I think because it just... it, it I, I think Parky might be going for the 2 and 1. It, it just... That's a very logical thing to do. And plus you're getting itchy that way. Like, maybe I should have done that, but... I, like, we, I would have been fine if I hadn't died, so... We also set ourselves up for Renala, uh, for the, the Spirit Summon one. I, I don't know how much of a time sink that is, but I might want a few more heals for that, potentially. Or I could, I could try to, like, the thing is, if she's going, I don't want to overthink this, but if she's going for the King's Realm Ruins, there's no way I can beat her there at this point. But the fact that she hasn't even gotten it yet, like, she she might be right there. So, we, I should be able to see. But, oh, man. I, I, I think I kind of... This is tough right now, dude. This is very tough.
because sh I, I maybe should go block with the horse kill. I'm going to do that as soon as I hit this grace. I can't get greedy to go for the two and one. And if she's right there, like if she gets it, she gets the two and one, she's going to beat me to red wolf potentially. Because she would already have gotten that set up. I'm just going to keep going, actually. Because the fact that she hasn't gotten it, probably, like, she would, she wouldn't go for the academy key beforehand. So I might be able to reach this really quickly. And, uh, and beat her to Red Wolf. And that, that way I'm blocking the potential bingo on the last, the last row. Because I think, dude, row five is really looking good. It, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of assuming that she's going to get two of those very quickly, but... That's, that's my plan at this point. Wait until you have intel. Yeah, but the problem is that she could easily just get a 2 and 1 here. So I, I have my plan. That I'm going to do that. It should be pretty high percentage. I'm kind of giving her the torrent fight and the king's realm, but hopefully I can beat her to red wolf. That's what I have to rely on here. And then, like, if I do, then who knows, man? Like, maybe I just can go to hit up the King's Realm, and I'll be looking really nice at that point. But I think what what I think she did is that she probably didn't kill the Tree Sentinel because she just assumed that I would get it first, and and then saw the the row five. Like, that's probably the best thing my opponent could have done, especially like especially because I had such a huge mistake on that Tree Sentinel square. And I didn't really realize how good row five was until now. I'm gonna get this grace though. Although I guess there's not really a point. But I like having graces. Maybe the omen killer is good from here. But yeah, I'll just try to get to Red Wolf as quickly as possible. And I really like where that sets us up for a few of the other ones. It's been things stone bell bearing also works with the tunnel one. I should keep in mind. Uh, it's hype, by the way. Thanks for the uh, brand new prime sub, dude. We also have the academy key in here, so there's there's a lot of reasons to be in in this area right now, which I like. Yeah, make sure you guys don't spoil. By the way, don't don't tell me anything that's happening with her game. You're allowed to offer me, like, suggestions on, on what you think, just based off of, n like, no information about the opponent. Uh, Cuddy, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime sub as well. I appreciate that. I just have like the top row looking okay.
Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to see if she finishes one. Really bad wolf RNG. Fit to determine if you have it seems torrent, whereas I may there is, but I can take gathering play. Where let my hand. Okay, so the the next possibility, so th there's always the possibility that somebody could get stuck, right? Like maybe she also went for the tree sentinel and got stuck. Um, that's a possibility, but another one is that she's getting set up. Like she could be going to get the medallions and stuff like that. I don't know why you would. Or she could be, like, I think it's unlikely she's heading into Volcano right now, but okay, how much faith for that? Checked. Twelve. Uh, dicks on butts. Thanks for the uh, brand new sub, dude. Uh, Twelve, I believe. Twelve. Let's go three two for now. Yeah, I should buy catch flame too. But is, is there even an avatar one? I don't think so. So now we have we we know we have priority on the academy key. And other ones that, um, we know we have priority on the like Thops Academy key, and I think there was another one, the Renala one. Those are the two we have priority on at the moment, so we can sort of play around that a little bit. Um. Just trying to I'm just thinking like is there anything else I miss? I'm gonna go for the the double here. Maybe maybe this wasn't the right play. That, that's the thing, right? Is is with um with bingo, there's a lot of a, a lot of luck in this, right? Because if she like what my opponent could have done here, she could have gotten the two and one, that's what I was expecting. And and maybe she's still gonna get it before me. Uh, uh yeah, I, we're, we can get the halberd set up at some point. I've already gotten a little bit of faith. For the spell. But yeah, we I, I think I have a good uh, a good route on this one. We've got a nice looking route here. Like even if she gets even if she gets this before me right here, I, I still have priority on a lot. And uh I'm I'm feeling okay. Now I'm feeling pretty good. The rune situation. We're, we're kind of lacking on runes, so here's the next play. 
Um. Go here. I have a next really fast one to do. Which is the, um... You know what? Actually, we can go from here, but... This maybe isn't the best play. I, I was gonna do the Legendary Armaments. What actually makes a lot more sense for me to do right now is the Faith one. So that I can force Garonk. But we can just simply go get two armaments here. Um, I like... We can go kill the Omen Killer, and I'm actually gonna go kill the five horse riding bosses as well. So, like, we, we're kind of in, in, like, big control here, I would say. would have of us let's take it nice and slow wait for him to get in the loop fortunately I have to drink here Uh, Dashing Bastard, thanks for the... I got this grace, right? Thanks for the, uh, the brand new Prime sub, dude. I appreciate it. Alright, even though I had the big mistake at the start, uh, I'm feeling okay about this. Yeah, true, I could have I could have gone to Misbegotten Duo. That's a good point. Oh, what's up, Crystal? Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, I just, I, the one mistake I, I, I sort of, now that I, now that I see everything properly, definitely rushing for Liurnia in that, that row five, what it was the best play. It, like if I'm against somebody like Chris or something, or, or just, or Aggie or, uh, I don't know. Like there's a lot of people and I like obviously Parkin too, like just anybody in the league could have seen row five and had gotten for that. It doesn't actually matter my opponent. And, and they would have been in a much better position than me. Like, even even though my true sentinel kill, if I do it properly, it should be, I don't know, like 40, maybe a minute or something. It still puts you in a much better position to get all of those, right? How good is my Garonk? Well, it's literally the beast clergyman, so. Should be pretty good. Actually, like, Golden Halberd sucks on, on Garonk, though. Like, so that's the, that's the one thing. I would almost rather force her to get 30 faith. Like, you know what? I, I That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go kill Garonk because I know she's not going to do that. And and you know what? I could probably just do a plus zero even. Just I'm, I'm wondering if that's actually faster than me getting Bloodhound Fang and getting it upgraded. Hmm. Hard to say, but uh, another one that I want to get is the uh, the horse one, and that's how maybe we can get our rune set up. So let's go ahead and that's what I was gonna do earlier. So let's go from the War Master Shack. Would that take too long? It depends. But what I like about this is I can set up Garonk and the Black Blade Kindred. I can set it up to be a race for that. Uh, thanks, fix it. And, and and also in that case too for the black blade kindred um second what legendary uh we have the sword of night and flame and then the devourer scepter is legendary just got this grace in case might as well i could also do the tunnel as well and the black blade kindred i i'm definitely not gonna like let up at all here though because we saw what happened in the Ain match yesterday. Ain had a just completely commanding lead and then sort of just, I, I, I don't know if he just leapt back a little bit or just wasn't prepared of what to do next. But there's no reason for me to get sleep, I suppose. There might be, I'll just grab this Grace in case. Quickest bingo, it, it was the one earlier today with Aggie. 
They, Aggie got a bingo, and the total number of squares that were achieved was uh, nine, I believe. Zincadilla? Uh, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Yeah, we're getting graces because, first of all, we're very comfortable with where we're at right now. And, um, and yeah, graces are really important. I I'm realizing so. But yeah, the one I just made like one crucial mistake this match, which was dying to the true sentinel, and then a minor mistake in, uh, a minor mistake in not going for row five. So, I guess I have to practice the tree center a tiny bit more. Although to be fair, like when I was when I was practicing the the tree sentinel before, I was strafing that every time. I I don't know if it was like some terrain or something that made me get clipped, or I just wasn't in the spot I thought I was. It was sort of like a weird death, but the the main actually the main mistake was actually getting hit earlier than that. That was kind of the main mistake. Am I married? I'm not married. Yeah, it was it was kind of a weird hit, but. It's still nighttime, so. Yeah, so here's my, like, I already kind of explained my plan. You can see that the star one's marked, but five bosses. We've already got one, and we can very quickly kill another couple and kill the omen killer. And ma maybe that would make more sense, but at this point, I'm actually just trying to, uh, hopefully it's still nighttime. At this point, I'm actually just trying to get some runes set up. This would be kind of awkward if it wasn't nighttime right now. Oh, is it actually not? Oh my god, it changed to morning right when I got here. That's so annoying. I wonder if I should do the uh, the old cheese then. Yeah, kind of another mistake. I should have just waited for nighttime. I didn't. I didn't know it was uh, that close. I think this is the one. This is the spot. Although maybe I shouldn't do this one because I haven't done this in a really long time. But this is actually the one I found uh, a while ago for, for one of the speedrun bounties. But yeah, see how slow this is? The 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 no hit cheese that we do is actually way faster than this. Or it, it's more consistent. It, you know, the fastest speed is faster this way, but uh It's def it's more consistent to do it. Um Hopefully I got those runes there. Go kill the Bloodhound Fang. <laughs> I wonder if she's st stuck on something. Like, she might have gotten stuck on the tree sentinel plus zero, and then, like, after... Like, she might have gotten stuck on that for a long time, now that I think about it. Because it makes a lot of sense to do early game, right? And because you get the golden halberd, which is a good weapon. But, yeah. That, like, that's... The only thing that kind of makes a lot of sense to me right now. I should probably get the grace. 
Uh, Dashing, thanks so much for a gift note of sub. Appreciate that. And also, Mad King, thanks for giving a sub to Vixit. I don't know if I uh, said thanks for that. Actually, I actually totally thought she's going to get that tree sentinel plus zero for me, though. Like, that was... I, I actually can't believe I died to him. It's insane. An insane thing to do is to die. This also put us in a good spot for uh, 30 faith, but Garonk only gives like 3,000 runes. Unfortunately. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of the Uchi here. Oh. It's annoying. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, this is really bad. I think I actually went out too early. Did I? No. Well, I presume. Okay, she got the 30 faith. That's actually really good for me. Like, that's kind of what I, I wanted to force her to do anyways. Like, so that's just so many runes early game. Like, gone down the drain. Let's get some decks. Well, I, I I don't remember how much decks it is, but let's get probably around there. Okay, so my my play here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and kill the. Let's go from here. I'm gonna go kill the horse bosses. Um, actually, you know what? Omen killer might be better. But let's just go kill this guy now. Omen killer might be better than this. Yeah, she could larval tier. That's true. Gotta kill Renala first, though. And and Faith is not really a great... Like, Renala, you don't really want, like, fire damage or, or something like that on Renala, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll happily let her take that while I go kill the five horse bosses and the omen killer, and then I simply kill Blackblade Kindred, and it's over. So, that's my play. That is my plan at this point. Oh. What the fuck? What's this guy doing? That puts us to three. Is that correct? Three? Yep, cheese counts as a kill. So now the question is, which is the last fastest horse boss to kill? I, I think it's probably... Or we can go to the omen kill after this. Like, there's no reason why I can't just do that. Yeah, the, the, the Northern Liernia one should be the best after this. Um, but yeah, like we have a lot of options here. But I'm this one's very quick. Maybe maybe the Eastern Liernia one was faster than this, but this is also a, a way less tanky one. So. We also get this active for... Is there any reason to be here? I don't think so. But yeah, let's keep uh, putting the pedal down, dude. Like, I'm going to kill the Blackblade Kindred pretty soon. I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more HP for him. Oh, yeah, Secret Tears. Yeah, that's a good reason to come here. And we still know we have priority on, on the Academy, although that could be gone pretty soon. I'll just leave it there for now. 
as I set up this other bingo and potentially kill the like I, I obviously an ideal situation for me is a race to the Black Bay Kindred. That's ideal for me. We don't have a great weapon like the Bloodhound Fang is not amazing, but if I like it should be okay. Swing, very nice. That's insane that that missed. Maybe the Ash of War isn't so good here. Probably Charger 2 is just better. I'll get this Grace 2. Oh, I didn't do the right thing here, but that's okay. Uh, let's go to here. Hmm. You know what? Let's go, um... I, I kind of messed up. I said I was going to do the Omen Killer. Probably Temple Court is my fastest way. I am red, yeah. We're in a good position here. Okay, just kidding. That was a nice. That was a nice block by her. That was really nice. Yeah, I was a bit too slow to go for it. Let's go this way. I mean, Blackblade Kindred is still good. Uh, she's probably going to be going for the tunnels soon. So, I need to think about that a little bit. Tunnel. I might hit the duo and trio bosses. doing a good job here kind of blocking my ideas. Okay, my next idea is uh, is this. These three. Um, although it's a little risky, but I, I think it's okay. That requires me to go here. Uh, talisman buffs do not count towards the 30 faith. It's got to be like, I, as far as I'm aware, it has to be just like straight 30 faith. Yeah, Putrid Crystallian Trio, it, like, I don't know. It kind of scares me a bit. I'd rather go for the easier duos than that. So, Pumpkinhead Duo plus uh, Demi Human Duo plus a Crucible. But Crucible, of course, makes sense to do first because it just does. And, I, like, I think this is good because I, I highly doubt she's going for this at this point. We also get a Crucible Knight on the route super easy now not necessarily like, I, I cannot i'm not gonna start thinking this is over anytime soon here like everybody's seen the bingo league we know how it works we know how fast somebody can catch up crucible night duo counts for two yes it does but that's way too far down the, the road i think What I think is that, so she's gotten 30 faith. That that must mean that she's not super well set up. Because 30 faith, like, that's a lot, man. That's a lot of levels to put into faith. Even if she is using the Golden Halberd. She probably is. That's a lot of levels. And, yeah, she might have a plus four Golden Halberd at this point, but... Yeah, we're going to be heading uh, down to the Misbegotten Duo. I, I really, I, I don't even need more damage at this point. It's just HP. I'm also going to grab this Grace just in case. Catch flame? Uh, for what? Or you mean flame grant me strength? Um, I definitely could. You know what? I, I will. Not a bad play.
I wonder how she got all those runes. She must have cheesed the Knight's Cavalry and stuff. I'm just going to do this the slow way. Hopefully this isn't a mistake doing this. Black Blade Kindred. Uh, it's right outside of Garonk. Yeah, she could have killed Grail. Um, potentially, but... It's actually... That's hard to imagine being worth it, because that's just such a time sink. But I guess it maybe it's only like three minutes, so it's possible. How are you alive after that? Okay, so we got Flame Gurmy Strength. We can also get the Strength Talisman in here, and then we're going to pump some HP. And we are going to... Yeah. Like, the Crystallian Trio does make sense. Like, I'm looking at it. Like, it does make sense, dude, because... I I, I can beat the Kindred, and I can also beat Garonk. Also, sneaking through like this is definitely faster than... Then coding out on the chest. So that's why it's always nice to have it nighttime. Yeah, this. I mean, I, I'm hoping. Like the Crucible Night one is not high priority for me. The one that is, because I, I could see her easily getting the two tunnels set up, and and killing Crystallian Trio because that is a tunnel. So that's like a two and one. Um, yeah, and you can, like, the, there's a lot of synergy on that, on that column, on that column, too, that I'm a little bit scared of. It just, it requires Altus, though. That's, that's the main thing. Oh, that's this ladder, right? Yeah, that, that, that column two is my biggest concern at this point, for sure. I don't really know the best way through this fort, to be honest. Basically never run through like this. Seriously. Okay, so let's level up some uh, some vigor here. Actually, uh, I don't have... Oh, I, I picked up Flungarmy Strength, but I didn't level up Faith for it, which is okay. start. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, don't use that. Just 
play safe here. Death here would be really bad. This is where, like, probably pairing would be the play. really not great. Yeah, I, I, I can try to heal, but... That was just an abysmal fight, dude. That was so bad. I I kind of I forgot that I I like to um I like to fast roll on that fight usually, and I just I took a lot of unnecessary hits on that uh, misbegotten. Yeah, that was not uh, not my best play right there. That's for sure. Now, this uh, there's no cave one, is there? I feel like if there was a cave one, I probably would have already gone for it. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot the strength talisman. Uh, so I, I, I was realizing I should have put the, uh, the heal in the physic. Yeah, I, I actually... I, I'm really not a huge fan of the Bloodhound Fang, dude. I much prefer Golden Halberd. Which I, I guess I do have, but made way more sense on this one to go with the Bloodhound Fang for Garonk and stuff. could be a potential bingo here if she's not going to block but i would imagine since she saw that i went for the the duo she must know that i'm going for the the triple or the three duo and trio fights and this is just the fastest one to go for right now you could go yeah i could go for the 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 crystallians but this boss is way weaker so i 
which is the faster one to go for. And then I suppose after this, we can go for the Crucibles. I'm going to grab this. I'm not in that much of a rush. If she beats me to this, that's totally fine. We still have the Crucible Night Square set up. Yeah, it's very unlikely she'd be able to pivot fast enough. After seeing that I got the duo to prevent me from getting this one here. Unless she had already killed a duo, which I, I highly doubt it. Oh. Why would he do that opening? Attack. Just play this sort of safe here. See, now this is this is tricky because I, I might be wasting my time here. Oh, uh, I might be wasting my time, but I feel like I might have a slight advantage on this one. Maybe. I've got a lot of good graces set up. It's just this could be a waste of time here. But what I'm thinking is if she does beat me to this, like she might have she might have seen that I got the duo and like, oh, I'm, I'm going to, you know, try to block the row one. And then she might have gone like, okay, I need to go get those those flask upgrades. But I have weeping already set up, and I've got a lot of the other ones set up too, so it's possible that I, I beat this here somehow. Uh, let's just probably go down, I guess. That's one. I think we're plus zero right now, so that's one. We have the Bellum Church as well. Uh... Let's get the other two in Weeping, though, really quick. And then I, I will... I'm pretty confident that if it comes down to the Crucible Knights, I'll, I'll... Like, I already have an advantage there, so... And then in our back pocket, we've always got Garonk, and we've got the Black Blade Kindred just right there. And if she's going with Golden Halberd right now, I get, it's just in my back pocket. Yeah, I, I could Memory of Grace, I suppose. Although I think that's something you would do while going to Rikard, to be honest. After killing the Noble. Which I also could do, because I, I have that all set up. Right now. Give me Secret Tears. Uh, we need... Uh, I only have one. So, we need one, two, three, four... Like, I honestly don't know the best ones to get, but I'll remember as we go. No, uh, any Crucible Knight counts It's these, so yeah, I would, I would, or I see these. I would go for the uh, Crucible that is in the Everjail, and then I'd also go for the one that's in Stormvale. So I, I'm, I'm basically set up on that, but what I think is that she's not going to go for that. She's going to go for the, the quicker one, which is the, the Blast Tears, and so I'm going to try to beat her to that. I, I don't know if she's going for it. She could be going for the Crucibles, but that, that's part of the thing, right? Part of the, the thing is that it's sort of a game of chance right now. If, if I reach the Sacred Tears first and she's also going for it, then I basically win. But if she's going for the Crucible Knights, then we're going to, like, draw. And that's totally fine by me because I'm... Like, the thing is... I'm, I'm, I am I'm feel like I'm kind of forcing her to do the Crucibles at this point. Not that she knows. She won't be able to know that. But if she does it, it that's not a productive square for her at all. And it's very slow. Because he's not going to do the, the misbegotten Crucible duo. She would have to go through the other ones. Which is slow. And that way, I'm also keeping the, the top left diagonal open for me. Alright, so Bellum Church is another one. Um, do I have to go to Altus for this, you guys? I can't remember. If you need Altus for all of these. Let's 
go here. Ops plus Vikes. Ah, true, you're right. Wait, do I? No, I don't. Uh, Bubba, thanks so much for the nine month prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. True, I forgot about Vikes. So that puts us to. So we'd be at five and then six, seven. I feel like I definitely played a lot better on this one. But, you know, part of that might be because my opponent didn't, like, get such a quick jump on me, right? I think that was the biggest thing. Because when I was against Josh, he got such a fast jump on me that I was just constantly not knowing what to do. But in this case, I'm the one who's in control, so I can just decide what to do. What kind of beer? What 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 kind of beer do you guys think I'm drinking? Yeah, Vikes, Vikes is definitely going to be slow. Oh, wow, she actually... Okay, wow, she she did that pretty fast. That's a good play again by her. I'm still going for these uh these tiers though. Cuz this will actually like part of the reason I went for this as well is because it sets me up in the long term pretty nicely so I'll have like an actual really strong flask for when we eventually have to kill that black blade kindred. Now, I just have to hope I I have a jump start on the tiers here. I imagine I do. I'm also not drinking beer. I'm drinking iced tea. I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, so once we get this one, then the only bingo that's available is the Blackblade Kindred one. For her, that is. And, uh, like, I like my odds on that one, so. Okay, so... Yeah, I should actually. You know what? I should have went to do the uh, Thops one first. Oops, not a big deal. Third church. I did get the third church. Yeah, so we're we're missing two. And then we have Vikes, and then that's it. So let's head to Bellum Church. Yeah, she's doing a good job blocking me, dude, because she, mu she must have started that pretty quickly in order to access uh, that very, like, as fast as she did. Like, probably immediately when, like, it it's interesting, because that's not what I would have, seriously, that's not what I would have done. Like, she did the right thing, but it's like, it's an interesting play, because, you know, she, she must have saw, seen that I got the Crucible Knight Duo one. And I, you know, there's almost no way that she reacted to that and then did the Crucible Knight. She must have been on it as I was doing other stuff. And my Crucible Knight fight was insanely slow. So that's the only way that's really possible. Unless, like, there's something I don't know about with, <laughs> with uh, how quickly you can kill the three Crucible Knights. It doesn't really matter if we get propped with madness here. I'll heal though. I did sacrifice a little bit of time here by not getting the Dectus lift grace. I could have, but I w is is there a way to do this without Fike invading you? Probably something I should have looked into before I did this, but where can I jump up? Right here. I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, Renu, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Hey, hopefully she's not going to snipe this for me, because that would actually be really annoying if she did. Oh, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to mark that. Oops. Hey, that's my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully that's not some, like, penalty or something. Okay, there we go. Whoops, my bad. I that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't like intentional. I just I got carried away. Uh let's go ahead and do Garonk, maybe. My bad. Did not mean to do that. Uh Vigo Main, thanks for the uh Thanks for the Prime sub, I appreciate that. I didn't actually like the reason they don't want people like doing that is because it could potentially give you like psych out your opponent but it, it didn't really give me an advantage there but like obviously i didn't mean to do that I just i i got carried away by like what the actual square was that was not ideal Yeah, I did I did get the Thops one. Yeah, we got we got seven for sure. This weapon isn't fast enough for that. Please bleed or something. Why wouldst thou call me? I think it's time for Renala. What's going on, Geo, by the way? So I've locked things up pretty nicely. We we could also go to Soldier of Godric Fist only, and and then do the trio. But I I want I would like to force her to Altus and and have to do all that stuff while I just clean up everything else. No, I'm not gonna kill the Kindred yet. There's no reason to. At least in my opinion, like I I could, but then that's actually leaving her for, with the easier ones to go for, right? Even though it does set up two diagonals for me, I think I'd rather just. Uh, Ooh, okay. Probably good news for me. I think that she's doing that. She might be going for Renala right now. I, I, but this is RNG though. She could beat me to this. This is this is RNG here. So. Oh. Oh, she might have marked one by accident too. Like, actually, if anything, it's a disadvantage if you mark one early. Because then, like, your opponent knows what you're going for. Wonder if that was, like, a retaliation. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, other one is where? Insane retaliation, dude. Time to be born. 
Like, hey, I saw you do that, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to pick up Op's key, and then I'm going to... Where's this last one? Bro. Good lord. What horrible RNG, dude. Okay, so she has to do all four different spirit summons, you guys. Oh, I guess that wasn't smart. Just nice and slow. Gotta make sure to not accidentally kill her. That's one. So we got the dragon. I've actually never done this before. Bloodhound. That's two. Wait, why are they both still alive? Hopefully this doesn't take forever because if she does this and gets lucky, which I think she she might. Okay, we just need the uh, the troll at this point. Come, oh, there it is. We, wow, we got really good RNG here. I feel like. Play this safe a bit. Little Rani, my dear daughter, weave thy night into being. Nice. Yeah, that was good RNG for sure. My sweetings come out from whence ye hide. I think we can take some time to go do an easy one. Uh, how many do I have right now? Like, are, have we almost sealed the win? Not quite. We have 11. Okay, but but the thing is, even once I hit 13, I don't have any in row 3, so technically it's not over. Like, maybe I should have gotten the Black Blade Kindred here, dude. I still wouldn't mind, like, leveling up some HP. I, I'm not even going to bother. I, I'm going to level up HP after this, you guys, and then I'm going to kill Black Blade Kindred, and then I'm going to Grace out, and that's it. there's no reason for me to lose my runes right now when I want to level up HP. Now, it's definitely not an ideal weapon against a Kindred, but... No, thir 13 is not an auto win. 13 is only an auto win once no more bingos are possible for your opponent. Right? Because technically, you could get 13 and then just stop playing, but if there's a bingo available, the opponent could still win that.
yeah, the only the only big mistake that um that I've made, I think, uh, like I, I guess that death obviously was was probably the most the worst thing. But beyond that, the uh, I I think just my choice of the early squares to go for was not great. Like it worked out really nicely because I think she probably went for Golden Halberd as well. I don't know, obviously. But I think she most likely went for Golden Halberd and got stuck for something. And And yeah. I'm actually going to go get the club so I can stagger the trio better. Just really quickly. And then we're going to level up HP. And then do the trio. And then uh, Kindred. No, we're not doing the memory right now. As I, I explained earlier. Why? It makes no sense for me because I, I I want to go for the the trio and the kindred, and and like, I guess if I kill the kindred right now, the game's over, isn't it? Yeah, I guess kindred's a win. Cause then I block it, and I I don't know how many squares I have at this point, but uh, let's equip an extra heal. Like just go all heals here. Get that, and then we will go. I'll heal. My damage is definitely not going to be amazing here, but. Sacrificial twig. Ooh, that's so bad. It's like abysmal. Showing the other bingo leaguers how to dodge that attack properly. Cause that's that's the that's the move that like everybody died to. Is that the double spin? Literally every single every single player that had to fight a kindred died to that attack. <laughs> the exact same one. to dodge backwards on that. Oh. It's literally just an atrocious weapon for this fight. But we're making it work.
You know what? The moveset is actually pretty good here, though. Like, it's actually good for hitting him. Okay, let's bait him a little bit back here. Please hit him. Oh, god damn it, dude. Oh my goodness. Actually trolling me. Is that it? Oh, that was 14. Whoops. My bad. Wow, I, uh, <laughs> that was, <laughs> some of those fights were really bad. All right, GG, you guys. I think, like, it's over, right? I didn't. Yeah, the the, the things that I. Uh... The things that I should have done, like looking back, for, first of all, my, my Crucible Knight Miss Begotten Duo fight was horrible. And my Black Blade Kindred fight, like this was not a good weapon for him. But you kind of have to pick, right? Because like Golden Halberd is, is also really bad on Garonk. Uh... <laughs> like, I, I think I played that okay, but definitely not perfect. But it was it was way better than last time, obviously. Could have skipped Godric. I I didn't fight Godric ever. I didn't even I didn't even kill Margaret on this. Oh, but you're saying Soldier of Godric missed only? Yeah, I guess I could have. You're right. Yeah, that's true. I like I I don't have a good way to see how many I have. Like on my on my browser, dude, because it's like all the way down here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I guess it's cut off for you, but that's maybe something I should get set up for future matches because I, I didn't see how many I had. Yeah, like, I literally could have killed, like, I, I guess, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't know how many I had. I thought I had 11. Not 12. Oh, yeah, I'll do that for next time, Bree, if I remember, I guess. But yeah, no, I think I, I think I'm, you know, that was pretty well played for the most part, but... Actually, just some of the boss fights I really messed up, especially that tree center. Like, early game mess-ups can be really bad.
And I got lucky that I got away with it, dude.